And moving on to this fight, we've kind of got a, a battle between an older prospect and a younger prospect, Shavkat Rachmanov, coming into this fight with a lot of hype. And um, yeah, for a good reason. He's 14-0. He's on a 14-fight win streak, obviously. He submitted Alex Oliveira in his debut, which is quite impressive. He beat uh, Mikhail Prezeres by submission six months ago. And now he's fighting Carlston Harris. This weekend, and Carlson Harris has actually made a little bit of a splash in the UFC himself. He uh, fought Saigid Zagakmaev a year ago on Dana White's, con- uh, Dana White's looking forward to a fight. And then he got signed from that. He beat Christian Aguilera by the, the same submission that he beat Saigid from, I I believe. It was very similar anyway. And then he came out and... Um, Knocked out in Kasanganai only three months ago. He's 34 years old. If he's going to build up his name, he's got to do it now. And I think Shavkat Rachmanov is actually a, a pretty good way to do it, man. The Carlson Harris doesn't really have too long to break into the top 15. He's almost 35 years old. He's a very great guy, though. I think he's the first Guyana fighter. He's got a great story behind him as well. He's definitely a guy you can get behind. But speaking of guys you can get behind, we've got Shavkat Rachmanov here. This guy is hyped up, man. I've seen people say that Shavkat could beat... Um, or Shavkat would put on one of the biggest tests to a guy whose name has completely slipped my mind, Kamzat Shemaev, which is uh, very interesting to me. Shavkat Rachmanov, he's only 27 years old, I think. They uh, they should build him up, not slowly, but they should definitely build him up as they are at the moment. They gave him Alex Oliveira in his debut, not the most easy debut in the world. He beat Mikhail Prezeres, uh six months ago. Before that, he was beating guys that were pretty good over at M1 and... um. Um, over on the uh, regional scene as well. Carlston Harris definitely poses a decent submission threat. He's got great ground game. He also proved that he can also stand um, with Umba Kasanganai as well. Umba, I think he's on a losing streak now though, so maybe that win doesn't look as great as it once did. But, hmm, let me think, man. I'm Well, I mean, I'm definitely going with Shavkat Rachmanov, and I do think Shavkat Rachmanov is going to win the fight by submission. Sorry, I should say that I... I don't actually know what the odds are for this fight. I don't know how much of a favorite he is. But, uh, Carlson Harris, I feel like he's going to be very underrated in this matchup. That, that's all I'm going to say now. Two guys that are both 2-0 and in the UFC. I think Shavkat's going to be the one moving forward. Shavkat's going to be moving into the top 15 after this fight. He's going to fight a top 15 opponent. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, maybe like Neil Magny, since Neil Magny wants to fight Kamzat Shemaev so bad. And the UFC really doesn't want that to happen. So Shavkat Rachmanov versus Neil Magny, maybe, after this fight happens. Even though Neil Magny is very highly ranked at the moment. So that might not even happen at all. But, um, yeah, everyone's going with Shavkat Rachmanov. A lot of people are... Uh, that's what I mean, man. So many people are underrated Carlson Harris. Carlson Harris has been severely underrated in this one, in my opinion. But I just think Shavkat Rachmanov's got the tools to get it done. Very good prospect to look out for. I do think he's going to get the job done inside the distance. I don't think this fight would go the distance in the general... Uh, no matter who wins, but I do have to go with Shavkat here. I think he's going to get the job done.